All right, we are live. How are you guys doing? I'm here in my studio in Spanish Village. And uh, it's so stoked to be back. And uh, we're going to go over some things uh, that happened in Italy. So I hope everyone's doing super good. Uh, some of you are jumping on now. And uh, I'll show you my painting that I've been working on today. I just finished one right there. I'll show you guys that. I also got a stack of paintings that I did plan air on my trip. Hey, how's it going, Frosty Girl? What's up? It's good to see you, Frosty Girl. Um, I'll also be showing you some brushes. That's right, we got the Giovanni Balzarati uh, brush set and the new Ultimo Evolution. I'll be showing that today. And so, but yeah, it's it's been good to be back. Um, a lot of things are going on. Uh, we got some more stuff that's uh, coming up. Um, just so I don't forget, let me just do some house cleaning. We've got a Zoom link over on the website, okay? And uh, for some of you that don't know me, my name is Gabriel Stockton. And what we do in here today is Watercolor Wednesday. And it's been a minute since I've been live and we're back. And if you didn't know, there are now, um, we got twice a day again, the YouTube shorts. There was one that went up today talking about backpacks on the airplane. And so I have a whole new um, shorts that are all about, tailored just about traveling with watercolors. I came across some pretty funny stuff that happened. And yes, I am in my studio uh, here in Spanish Village. And let's see, do, do, do. just a little glance around. That's Linda Isles uh, Jewelry. Um, and I share the, this space with other artists. So anyway, so back to what I was saying over on the website, um, Gabriel Stockton, fineart.com. That's where you can find out about classes and courses. We've got the new startup of the five week series here at the art school. The dates are there. The link is there. Go ahead and click on there to sign up. If you live here in San Diego, also, on the website, if you go under workshops, you can see the upcoming workshops I have going on. We got a Zoom one coming up. Uh, we've got one I need to add uh, for the big plain air event. That will be going up probably tonight. Um, it's a whole week long. You come down to Oceanside, California. I'll be teaching two on location. I'll be teaching um, painting a pier. If you've ever wanted to paint it a pier at the beach, that's what we're going to be doing. And a cool, super cool workshop uh, painting this theater where I actually saw the first Star Wars when I was a kid. So we also got the Cheap Joe's Zoom uh, course that's coming up. There's an LA gig, and who's this? Dun, dun, dun. It says, good to see you're back. I missed uh, who that was. <laughs> I'm trying a little different format. This is straight up from the phone, and we're not using StreamYard today just because I'm in my studio. I didn't bring all like the camera and the lights and all that stuff, so I hope you guys can hear me well. Give me some thumbs up. It, hit that like button if you could hear me. I'll watch for that number to change. So, yes, check out the website, Coach Lance Meyer. Oh, right on. Hey, it's good to see you, bro. Hope you're painting. Thanks, Frosty Girl. I appreciate that. And, uh, but yeah, without any further ado, let's just hop into it. 
Um, I'm not painting today for you, but I'm gonna show you the paintings I did do in Italy and where in Italy. So let's go ahead and flip this around. Do, do, do. All right, there we go. We're just gonna set this bad boy up right here. Let me move the camera over so you don't have to see all that awesome hardware. All right, so I'm gonna show these here just shortly, but let's just dive right into the paintings. So I don't know, I didn't put these in any order, but let's see, okay, it's not a big deal. All right, so check it out. Let's uh, zoom back just a little bit. This was my first painting. This was over in Bologna. Sorry for this cool, awesome hardware stuff. But uh, you get the gist, right? So this painting uh, was my first painting when I showed up in Bologna, Italy. So we flew and made a connecting flight into Paris and then over into Bologna. And the new thing is you guys make sure your connecting flights, you at least give yourself three hour layover. Oh my goodness, there was, yeah, if you just watch some of the upcoming shorts, you will see. So check this out. This is the back side of this really cool church. And we've got this really cool statue. Nobody in particular, um, but yes, this was the stance the statue was making. We had lots of people walking by and some people sitting there eating some gelato. And you can see the light was coming from the left here. And uh, I really enjoyed this piece. I did a nice little sketch. I did not bring my sketchbook. I Wait. Can you see if it's in the back? Maybe, maybe, oh yeah. All right, so let's see. In the sketchbook, uh, at one point of the trip, we were in Verona, and what a beautiful day. Look at this scene. Got a nice bridge. I love this church that was here. Look at this lovely water, nice shadows, and uh, we've got a nice directional pull right to the star of the show. Now, this is not in order at all. So this is Venice. Uh, this is a 20 minute painting, friends. <laughs> I'm being super transparent. I could care less right now if you're gonna judge me. I'm gonna just show you what got done. I had 20 minutes before my art show in Venice. That's right. I had an art show in Venice. And this is the painting that I showed um, at Fabiano uh, for the painting holiday. We did a art show in Venice. And this is the painting. You guys have probably seen this. And um, Right, and then, girl, this was a cool moment. So there was like a church over this way, and there was these big giant doors, and there's this person coming out, some people chilling, people eating gelato, <laughs> and uh, we were eating plenty of gelato too. And I had a friar tuck kind of guy, like a padre, like one of those guys that... He's like, you know, wearing the robe. Well, I was sitting there and all these wonderful people um, were coming by wanting to talk to me, but you know, my, my Italian is very little. And so I'll tell you what, dude, uh, the Padre was there totally just letting everybody, he, he was my interpreter, it was pretty cool. All right, then we were over in Venice, no, Florence, Florence, to see my buddy Johnny. And uh, so this painting, 
another cool bridge, but see there, right there, there's these cool sculptures at the ends of the bridge, okay? Uh, this is a 45 minute painting, and I've actually already painted this one again and larger since I've been back, and there it is. This is a studio painting of Florence. I'll show you that one again. This is the plein air. This is the studio. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Next. Oh, my gosh. This is They're getting good now, you guys. We got this one here. So this was pretty cool. This was an opportunity to paint in a old, old church. And um, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Frosty Girl. So here is this cool organ. Here's the, bat, the pipes. And they actually were playing the music we had about a hundred artists painting. There were people there, actually, uh, enjoying the music of the performers. And I'm looking, oh, here it is. Here is the actual event. Dun, 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 if you read Italian, you're doing good. Uh, so this was the little brochure, or not brochure, but the on the actual organ. And oh my gosh, I had this whole line of people lined up to take pictures with this painting. Good times, good times. All right, remember we did the gondolas? That's right, you guys, I found the gondolas. Frosty Girl, I know you were there. I know Kevin. Remember, I painted this place before I left for my trip. Whoa. I was so stoked. Um, so after my art show, we went and found this place. And I was super stoked. There was like this little, little uh, side street, kind of like, not an alley, but a little... And then across from here on this side was a really cool, they call them bars, but they're like a cafe during the day. And then a place where you just go hang out with your buddies and have like a spritza. And um, so there's people like taking my picture like crazy. But yeah, look at these gondolas. They're just a super good time. We did take a gondola ride. We had a good time. Uh, we enjoyed the gondolas. All right. Now, I'm going to show you a piece that did not get done, okay? No tears. Don't cry. Don't, don't get mad at me for not finishing this one. But this is, this is what a really quick, just jot it down and put down just some real quick, color. I would consider this a sketch. I would consider this local color. And we've talked about this, you guys. We've got blue sky. We've got this yellow down into this like uh, wonderful brick color and then the yellow again for the tops. This older brick. We've got this cropping. And then we got some figures walking around down here. All right, cool, cool. Um, I don't know, did you guys remember I did this one uh, before I left for my trip? So I, uh, <laughs> I taped this to my easel so when people are walking by, what size unfinished work? What size is the unfinished work? So remember this thing? Bum, bum, bum. So if you're at Watercolor Live, I demonstrated with the large one and how it works. 
is you take your piece of paper, you put this in there like that, and there's these clips that go on the side. So every one of my paintings had this. And it's either eight by 12 or nine by 12. I, I'm sorry. So when it comes out of there, you know, it's in here like this, right? Pull this out like that, voila. Got nice crispy edges. I am known for pulling my tape off but that was one last thing I needed to bring was tape. And running out of tape is a big bummer too. All right, drum roll please. This was, this is the last painting from the trip. Got you to this great tool. Oh yeah, I, I, I use this, this little frame thing quite a bit. There's the small one, and it comes from Cheap Joe's. I'll put a link in a day or two uh, for this. And there's a large one. I'll get the large one. It's right here. Yeah, and you can see, kind of jumping the gun. But uh, here is a painting I'm finishing up today. So this is a guy um, ordering his steamy hot beverage and this gentleman of heart kind of having a little bit of heart of hearing <laughs> chatting with this guy and we got this nice little young buck over here about to take some spritzes out to the tables so there's like tables check this handsome young guy out he's uh loading up a tray they bring you these little spritza drinks, uh, Aperol spritzas with maybe some chips or these little uh, kind of like cracker things. And then, uh, yeah, this wasn't me. This was another guy. And that's the next painting I'm showing you. Oh, so I forgot to show you. This is the other large frame. Bum, bum, bum. See that? So you got this one and the small one. Voila. So you could get these at Cheap Joe's. So it's basically half. Bum, bum, bum. But I like it. It comes with these markings. So you know where your thirds are for your composition. All right. Now the drum roll. Here is, here's a winner. This is, I think this one is sold. There is another painting I don't have here today. It sold uh, right off the easel uh, and is now in Switzerland, which I'm super stoked about. But yes, this painting was done on location um, during a workshop I attended. The guy painted the old church and I sat down and I saw this guy that was in our group go over and get a cup of coffee, which inspired this painting. Bum, bum, bum. Do you see it? Do, do, do. And voila. So good times. Check out those bottles. Those bottles were done nice and loose, just like these bottles. Nice and loose. Cool, cool. This is the name of the cafe. And uh, you don't have to make it perfect. You're not a sign writer. This was an advertisement for a Abitivo or Aberol Spritza. It was a good time. All right, now I know you guys are just dying to see the new brushes I picked up. And uh, let's take a look at Gio Bazarati. Uh, my tongue isn't moving today. So this is his brush set. And yes, to Gabe, thank you. And uh, so this is pretty cool. The packaging, right? Uh, back it up just a little bit. 
Dun, dun, dun. Lighting is a little different today here in the studio. All right. So it is in. So this brush company um, first started making out making makeup brushes, and now they've uh, been in the wonderful um, art making business. And do, do, do. so there you go, made in Italy. These will soon be coming to Blick. Um, soon be coming. Uh, there's Geo's Instagram. Let's open it up. What do you say? This is one of his paintings. Pretty cool, right? Boom, boom. This is the brush company here. That's their logo. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, look at there. It already shows you and tells you some information about these brushes. Here's some information on Geo. And uh, if you've not been over to our Thursdays with Live with John, yeah, new toys. Yeah, so I have been using some of these, especially this one right here. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? This is a number zero. Really nice and light. It's got the name, his signature. It's got their name on it. And uh, so he's been working on these for a while with them. And we've got another one here. This is a number five. I have a short coming out in a couple of days talking about this and with the link. Number five, check out this bad boy. Yeah, it's a, I have not used this one yet. Excuse me, a little yawning, yawning. This is a zero, but it's a flat. Very nice, right? It fits really good in your hand. Like, look at that. Just right there, friends. And uh, it feels really comfortable. It's nice and light. So this is like some kind of plastic. And this is nickel plate still, I believe. And uh, some of these are real hair. Some are synthetic. We've got another brush right here. This is a number four. This one I did use. Look at that nice tip. It's really nice. And there's this cool accessory here. This bad boy. Um, it fits on. And um, it fits on here. And it's so like if you're painting, Gia does these, uh, Giovanni does these uh, amazing, amazing paintings that take a long time. And so he's holding a brush a really long time. So. He designed this to be able to hold it a little bit longer in your hand for those long hours. Yeah, mad detail. Go. All right. Uh, so that's the set, you guys. I will put a link um, in the description in a few days, but there is a short. I made a short about this. Um, and the link will definitely be in that one. And so, yeah, pretty cool, right? Dun, dun, dun. All right, off to our next brush, which is, this is the Escoda. Look at this beautiful thing. So my buddy, Joseph Escoda, uh, with Escoda brushes, handmade this one just for me. I apologize, I'm not at home studio where I can show you the awesome packaging and he signed it for me. Uh, so this is a number 20. So there's only one size right now that this comes in, which is the nice biggie. So 
How can I compare it to you? All right, you guys have seen me paint with this puppy. This is Perla. So this Perla is a number 18. This is a 20. These are two different brushes, friends. This is, they're both synthetics, but this is designed to hold more water. All right. Um, so you guys have seen me paint with, do, 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 where is it at? You've seen me paint with this Ultimo, okay? Bum, bum, bum. Frosted Girl. Okay, it's the brush I've been looking for. Right on. So this is the one I've been using, the Ultimo. So yes, this is Ultimo. They're made by Escoda. This is a number 12. But look at that point on that. And... This was pretty cool. Look at this flat side right here. Can you see that? Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. So it sets down and it doesn't roll away. How cool is that? So I tilt this bad boy and it's not rolling. As opposed to this one. It's going to roll. So yeah, about time they designed something with the brush that doesn't roll off your counter, right? And, oh my gosh, so yes, uh, so these holes here in the ferrule, so if you don't know about Escoda, they are known for their ferrules. This is the one that I normally paint with, okay? So it has the three crimps, the three crimps. So the three generations, the grandfather, the fathers, the grandsons, granddaughter, same thing with the holes here. There you got the three generations. So the actual water can go right into here. I'm gonna show you that here, just here shortly. But so the how this all came about uh, was Ricard Escoda told me again, was um, the grandfather worked with steel. And this is steel. This is, I believe, nickel plate steel. And an artist wanted him to make some ferrules. This is called the ferrule. This is called the handle. And so uh, that's what's super rad is this company started by making these ferrules for another artist to make brushes. And now they've like super improved let me get my thing of water. You guys got to see how much water comes out of this puppy. Bum, bum, bum. All right. So here we go. Let's get some water. We need a lot more water than that. Dun, dun, dun. So I have, I have done a short video. Uh, on this brush where I show the packaging and all the different points but mainly this is designed John Coach is the guy that they worked with he's from Spain he designed this puppy so look at that you can get in there and clean out this brush really nice it rinses all the way to the ferrule do you see that and look how much water that comes out. Let's do this puppy from an angle. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we can do this. Come on. So here we are. Watch this. Boom. Pretty nice, right? I wish I, I you know, I should do. Oh, yeah. I got an empty container. Here we go. So we got an empty container. And let's see how much water comes out of this bad boy. Why is this important, you guys? Do you remember why we need a brush that holds lots of water? Look at that. 
And here we go. That's a good amount of water. <laughs> hey, Dark Day, what's going on? So my other brush, obviously this is not a number 20, but I'll do another video. Here we go. So this one holds a lot of good water, but see, this one is a squirrel brush. This one is a synthetic brush. It's meant to act like squirrel. Here we go. Oh my gosh, did you just see that? Whoa. Pretty nice. So I've done one painting with this brush so far. Let me grab that painting. You guys can see the nice thin things of paint. Bum, bum, bum. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. Just put away your judge uh, spirit. And here we go. This is the first wash on this painting. And here is a oh, dark day. You'll have to rewatch this. Uh, I just showed all the paintings that I did in Italy. So, do you remember we did this before I left for Italy? Now, this is the painting I'm working on. It's a full sheet painting with this brush. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yes, this is Arches Rough uh, watercolor paper. And, yeah is this is not the white of the paper this is pigment with lots of water in this brush okay so again this is not the white to the paper there's pigment with tons of water look at this wonderful subtleties that you can get with this brush and good paper. Look at that nice texture, granulation. Look at that lovely stuff. We got a motorcycle dude. Pretty cool. And so, um, I, I, I'm liking this brush a lot. And I highly recommend it. I'm still learning it myself. This is the first large painting that I am currently working on with this brush and uh it's lovely I like I like the weight of the handle it has a nice distribution and um in October uh October uh no before October maybe September you'll be able to see the demo with John Coach using this brush. He actually did two paintings <laughs> with this one brush at the same time for his demo. And so I highly recommend it, uh, not just because my buddy makes the brush, but it is literally evolutional. And so that's what it's called, the Ultimo Evolution. And then there, by John Coach. And so, cool, cool. Well, let me come back on the camera. And uh, there's the studio doors that are closed. And uh, you guys have any questions for me about Italy? Uh, yes, it was awesome. And yes, I am going to be invited again. Um, there's some really cool stuff coming up. Oh, one other thing that I'm super stoked about is I got a fan. I got um, into tier two for the San Diego um, fair. So if you plan on coming out to San Diego to the fair, you can come see my painting. We are yet to find out uh, who got awards, and that's coming up soon. So, yeah. Congratulations, Frosty Girl says. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
Nice. I agree. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And some of you that are my subscribers were in line turning in uh, your paintings too. So that was pretty cool. Uh, someone was like, oh, I subscribe to your YouTube. And I'm like, right on. And um, I hope to see you guys on here. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, I had an art show. Uh in Venice, and that was pretty cool. There were a uh, hundred of us. I left the poster in Italy. I'm so bummed. So I had the original poster, but I'll probably get a PDF and make a printed copy. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'll be updating my website on accolades now because that's a pretty cool accolade to say that you've actually had a art show in Venice. Italy. Um, I met lots of friends, new people. I love these events because you get to go and meet people um, that you've probably been talking online since COVID. You get to meet them face to face, go have lunch and dinner with them. Um, the funny story was we got on our connecting flight in Paris and I sit down and I hear this Bonjour, and uh, what is that? Du -du -du. I did not see Joseph Escoda, but I did see Ricard Escoda and the super awesome Giovanni. Um, I met her who does um, their uh, social media stuff and their other social media lady who is amazing, who always sent me some wonderful brushes, which, whew, my heart is so full. My heart is so full. Um, I got to meet some wonderful people and have some really cool heart-to-heart -heart God moments, which was amazing. I actually did get to pray for one person. Uh, we had a person get lost and we, we had to wait for them to get found. Uh, but he's okay. He's all right now. And, but yeah, you go with these groups and you gotta, you gotta look out for one another and make sure your bus buddy or everybody that was on your bus is still on your bus. And so if you ever want to go to Fabriano, just email me and I can send you the information and you can tend to that as well. Um, you can even submit your artwork. See if you can get into the show. Um, but I, my wife enjoyed it. We had some really cool date nights. There were these pizzas. Oh my goodness. You can order like a big pizza and you're not bloated when you're done eating them. Um... There were some wonderful, tasty wines we had. Uh, we had some fun and interesting moments on the plane. Oh, I didn't finish. So yeah, there I was connecting flights. Uh, oh my gosh, cobblestones everywhere. There's, there's tour guides taking you places and telling you about the portico, porticos and the reason why there's so many porticos in certain cities because people would ride in on their horses and knock on those doors and um, not too many people walk around with an umbrella because there's so many porticos. Uh, that's those cool big arches and long hallways that are in front of shops and stuff. Uh, so yes, back to the story making a connecting flight in Paris. And we get on our plane to go to Italy and we hear this bonjour. And I look over and then there's Pierre <laughs> from Safoine Fair, which is now he's with, uh, he's a big spokesperson for art supplies. And Fabriano uh, McPherson's and many more. Uh, companies for supplies and he shares the history about Fabiana paper and uh, he was on our same flight and the poor guy that sat between <laughs> Giovanni and myself oh he finally just went ah 
No, just kidding. But he did ask to switch me seats, and I was like, no, nah, I, I can't let you sit next to my wife, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's awesome moments. Uh, there's never a dull moment in my life. Um, yeah, so the wine's pretty good uh, on the airplane. Uh, we had lots of movie time on the airplane. The flight is probably about 16 hours. Um, uh, so take a book. I took a book and I'll be sharing that in one of my shorts on what I read during my flying time. Um, I also share all the cool different sketchbooks. Um, oh, there was a really cool new town that I went to. Um, Fermo. Um, uh, you gotta check out this city. They are revamping uh, and getting engagement with the city with watercolor. And we got to be a part of that. And wow. We went to a church that was built in 100 AD. Isn't that crazy? Uh, that city is... Um, just a little small city in Italy. Um, it's over by the sea, okay? It's not by the ocean. They have a big sea there. I made that mistake. <laughs> and so, uh, oh my gosh, it was amazing. So I'll actually show you, it's in here. Holy cow. Um, and here is the place that I painted at. Looking over this amazing ocean. This is an old church. And I actually painted this scene with more of this countryside. And on to my left, I had master watercolorist Raffaele. And then on my right, I had Hamid Kapoor uh, from India. Uh, both uh hanging out with me while i was painting it was super rad to have people that have been painting watercolor um that they do they travel the world and they teach many people and um so if you don't know rafaeli he's a brand ambassador daniel smith he is the king at um putting together uh, the right colors that work really well as triads. That's a fancy name for primaries. And so he has developed on his dot card. You've seen my dot card with Daniel Smith. His dot card has, yes, total mani amazing experience. So to top that off, get this. I wish I had the painting because you know what? It sold. Um, a person came up as a gentleman from Switzerland. Uh, he's actually the spokesperson for Switzerland for the art group that comes to uh, Fabiano. So Maurice Pierre, uh, Perry, sorry. Maurice Perry came up to look at my painting that, you know, Hamid is there and Kapoor and there is <laughs> Raffaele. And he's like, oh, that's a beautiful painting. Uh, how much? And I'm like, oh, dude, you can't buy this painting in front of these two master painters right now. Uh, let's talk later. But uh, yeah, so um, I didn't really know, like, you know, what size this frame thing is, right? So I was like, it kind of got me out of the moment for a second, but he wanted it. He wasn't going to, like, go back to Switzerland until it was in his suitcase. And so a couple days later, I told him the price, and and we sold a painting on our trip. And that's the first to sell a painting in Italy on my trip. I've traded paintings, which I have a few paintings um, here's one, um, so there's another brand ambassador, Caroline, 
And she painted this painting. Oops, it's upside down. Uh, she does these big, big, giant ones, full sheets. And they get mad wards. And these are rocks underwater. There's a couple of rocks that are coming up out of the water. And you got leaves. So she painted this. I actually got to watch her. And we swapped a painting. You guys saw the painting. Um, it was the little one of this. Let's see if the camera's going to let you see it. Remember that painting? I did the small one. Her husband's into boats, and so he's always like, buy me a boat. And so she took, she's gonna take him home a boat. So there's another painting. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. It was right here. Do, do, do. You know what I'll do? I'll do another video, and I'll show you guys. So, yes, Italy was amazing. Um, thank you for all those that kept encouraging me to go. I appreciated you. And, uh, yeah, would I do it again? Of course. And there's, there's like, some I want to share, but uh, I have to wait. I have to be patient and zip my lips. I can't spill the beans yet, but I have got some cool future uh, stuff coming up that is taking me back to Italy. And uh, when that is finalized, I will share it with you. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the new brushes that you guys get your hands on. Uh, if you're interested in any of these paintings that I painted in Italy, let me know. They are for sale for $5.97. And um, as long as you live in the US, um, if you get back to me within this week, uh, I will ship it to you for free. Uh, so free shipping if you get it within a week. Um, but yeah, there's some amazing paintings. There is one in that stack I think is already asked for, but you never know unless you ask, right? So I hope you guys maybe might be coming out to um, the Plain Air Convention. I am signed up to be at Cheap Joe's Art Supply booth for two days. And I will be painting. It's to encourage people to sign up for my Zoom course that's coming up in the fall, which is going to be super rad. We are doing, I think it's boats, bridges, and beaches. Yes, that's it. So you saw some of these bridges. Shoo! Look at that. So I'm going to teach you how to paint like that, you guys. Would you like to be able to learn how to paint like this? Some of you have a real struggle with perspective, and I can help you get there. And, um... Let's dial you in, and we'll do beaches and boats. Look at that boat. Boom. And we got a similar series that's similar to that boat, but it's already in Greece being framed right now for Watercolor International Greece show. And that is in September. So if you want to go to Thessaloni, uh, Thessaloniki, Thessaloki, <laughs> Greece, uh, that will be uh, an opportunity to go outside the U.S. and go see an amazing, ama I've already heard of the lineup of people that are invited to the show. All right. Well, I digress. I'm just babbling now. Have a wonderful time. And did I show you this one? Yes, I did. That's right, because we talked about this, right? This dude. Oh, um, look at the lighting on that. Blows my mind. That's plain air. You guys can paint like this. I'll get you there if you want to sign up. Uh, we've got some other cool stuff coming up next week. I've got some really cool ideas for the up and coming uh, demos. So 
Be sure to be here next week. We just had um, Angela Fair. Oh my gosh. Her video blew up this week. She's already at 1,000 views. Um, holy mackerel. And she told an amazing story. And I'm not sure who comes up next Monday. I've got to check out the board and start editing that video. Um, so every Monday, we've got those interviews with the professional artist. The shorts are back out. I've already uploaded the rest of two a day up until Saturday, and I've already got stuff lined up for you guys. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. I appreciate you. Bye. Keep painting. Ciao.